Hello everybody, it is me Pacific, and it's Sunday morning, and as always, I have something to talk about. Let's get started. So this morning I'm online, right? And I'm reading a, a site where people can ask questions, and a guy writes, he's in his 40s, and he says, I'd like to know where to go to meet Asian women. I really like Asian women, I have a preference for them. A white, blonde woman in her 40s writes back, you know, stereotypical blonde, large-breasted, says, I know why you're interested in Asian woman. You're a creepy white man or a creepy man. Several people wrote back saying, why is he creepy for having a preference? Pacific happens to agree. We're going to talk about stereotypes that white women make that are just dead wrong. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. Men are faulted for having a preference. If you don't believe me, listen to common things that come out of white females' mouths. And these will be the following. Oh my gosh, she's so much younger than him. What a pervert. Oh, he's with an Asian woman. He can't get a girlfriend by anybody else, so he picked one of those foreign mail-order brides. Or how about this one? He's a loser, so he had to go overseas to get one. I've heard that, I can't tell you how many times. Unbelievable. But you know what people don't think about? How many of those same women have their preferences and they're never accused of being creepy, but maybe they should be, and here's why. How many women choose men on their income level? <clears throat> that isn't creepy. Isn't that using us? <clears throat> Excuse me. If, if a man suddenly loses that lucrative income, isn't that going to be risky for that man that that woman's going to say, hey, you don't earn enough money, I'm out of here? How come women have no problem with having their so-called standards that aren't necessarily good or right and not based in love but if a man has an ethnic preference in the U.S., it must mean he's a loser. I'm going to tell you, in short, why I've had a preference for Asian women. And another comment that American white women make is, oh, men go after these women because they can't accept we're not in the 50s anymore. So they pick a woman that's submissive. White women show their ignorance in this country on a daily basis. Ride with me in my truck and I'll show you how white, blonde, big busted women drive and they show zero intelligence for traffic laws and respect. But we're not going to get on that dead horse. American white females make stereotypes on a regular basis because seeing a man with an ethnic woman is a threat to them. But let's talk about submissive Asian women. I believe I've talked to my viewers about Beth. She was anything but submissive. <clears throat> and if you talk to many Chinese men in Hong Kong, they will tell you, I can't control my wife. The picture of the Asian woman throwing bowls and chopsticks, people laugh at that, but there is truth to that. No, I don't choose Asian women because they're more submissive. I'm attracted to natural beauty. I'm attracted to smaller-breasted women. I think large-breasted women are overrated. When they hit their 40s, some when they hit their 30s, everything starts sagging in the basement. And I'm sorry, you may have been hot in high school, but at 35, you look like something off the cover of National Geographic? Mmm. I'm not interested in that. Now. I'm sure my female viewers will go, wow, so you condemn women for being after money, but if a woman isn't good looking enough, you're out of there. No, when you make a commitment to love somebody, you love them no matter what, no matter the body changes, etc. <clears throat> I waited behind the stop sign and a runner waved thank you, so I was waving. Yeah. <clears throat> So American women do make stereotypes, and that is a fact. That is a proven fact. 
And let's talk about we're not in the 50s anymore. Well, ladies, what are we in today? What What is it? What era are we in? Can we talk about that? Because I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I want to know what era we are in because it certainly isn't the 50s. And not only is it not the 50s, I would like to know what women today think that they have in them that is so redemptive that should make us go ape crap over them. The reason a lot of American males choose Asian women is varied. Admittedly, there are older men in this country that cannot get a date with a young white woman. They're either balding, a little bit heavy set, and by the way, a lot of women in this country stereotype those men too. Not all of us can help our build and not all of us can help the way our frame is. And I feel for the guy that has some balding and a little bit of a pod gut. They're automatically called a pervert for noticing beauty of younger females. That is a stereotype that's not accurate. The reason some of us men choose Asian women is very simple. They haven't been indoctrinated into the feministic belief system. Women in the USA tend to feel more entitled, therefore they set expectations that most males cannot reach, i.e. if you don't make a certain income or drive a certain vehicle, you're out of a date. Most women in the US will date only somebody within three to four years of their age bracket, whereas when we go overseas, we find that women are more open to dating people of all ages. And by the way, there is no rule against an age. That's up to the individuals involved. I would definitely tell people that dating somebody under age is wrong. It's against the law. But why is it a man is called a pervert for simply stating that he has a preference for younger women? I don't think that's fair either. There's a lot of cougar females out there that are rich, and they're going after younger men. But the reason some of us have chosen Asian women over white women is simple. The blonde woman that posted on that site calling men creepy for having an Asian female preference, she's never had to go through the depths of things that we have. In American society, if you're a good-looking blonde woman, you automatically have no problem getting a date. Because not all men choose for intellect or anything else, but they tend to go, ooh, she's hot, therefore I'm going to ask her out. Ask most men that are involved with a woman like that 20 years later and they'll tell you, my gosh, I don't know what I was thinking. Relationally, it's a disaster. But here's the thing. As I've said before, you're not going to have this discussion with the typical average American female. And the reason? Because they're not going to listen to it. They've been indoctrinated into the belief system because they're able to get any guy they want, therefore they're not a loser. If an average American male who is hardworking and average looking is rejected by the majority of very hot looking white women, they automatically assume it must mean that there's something wrong with us. So because of the internet and because of what is happening in our American society and because the internet has opened up all kinds of boundaries, for example, in the 50s, you were pretty much stuck dating somebody in your town, whether you had a choice or not. Now, because of the internet and people with a few extra bucks in their pocket, we can say, hey, my dating site isn't limited to plenty of fish or Craigslist. My dating pool is the entire globe. Women like choices. Well, men do too. And men are choosing, and it's angering women. Is this a double standard? I think so. There are some women that are so evil, they don't think that we should have a choice. They think because we don't look as, look at this. Here's a woman driving with her dog on her lap hanging out the driver's side window another reason why I like Asian women you won't see Asian women do that but something to think about <clears throat> I've chosen Asian women for, for, for many reasons one of which is every Asian woman I was with does not wear makeup not one Asian woman I was with has breast implants and even though some of the intelligence of the level of some of the Filipinas was not as high as some women I've been with, at least I can have a conversation with them that's not superficial and flaky. I find that the stereotype of blondes being complete flakes is absolutely true 99.9% .9 of the time. 
I find a lot of Asian women actually want to love and please their man. Contrasted to American women today, it's all about what can you do for me, but they're not offering anything back to the American male in dating relationship. The problem is, is because we've all grown up in this culture and this is all we tend to know until those of us leave these shores and go overseas, we don't have our eyes open. But when we go overseas and we see the Asian difference, our eyes are wide open and we come back and go, my gosh, I dated a woman who not only loved me, she massaged my back and she took care of me. Women in America make a lot of stereotypes, and I've done it too. I grew up seeing a black man with a white woman and often would think, oh man, he's probably just using her. Actually, I'm finding out that sometimes ethnic couples are doing way better than same race couples. Growing up in white culture, I've seen over and over that because of a Judeo-Christian ethic, most people grew up believing that marriage should be done and they find a partner and they marry them. But in my white community, I have seen so many couples that they have no passion for each other at all. They look like the Hollywood version. We got the house, we wear the right clothes, we got the nice car, but they're filling their houses with material goods. They're obsessed with their own individual hobbies and you ask, where is the love between these people? it really isn't there then you add in the layer dynamic today of American women wanting men only for how much they can make in their bottom line and there you have even more divorce rates more conflict and more stress I have found that ethnic marriages often with the exception of some coming over simply for a green card tend to last longer than people marrying each other in this country. I find that there's more passion between the couple, more exhilaration, and more adventuresomeness between them. But it bothered me when the woman answered on that site saying that white men who choose Asian women are creepy, and I wanted to shoot back to her and said, of course, you had no trouble getting a man. You're large-breasted, you're blonde, Everybody falls all over you, but what do you have as far as substance and in a relationship that will carry it beyond the bedroom? And the thing that really bothers me is in the case of Indokita, a 23-year-old female who's from the Philippines and Australia going to college, she has more collective intellect than most 40-year-old white women I have ever met in the United States. More passion, can write and express better, and American women, their, their vocabulary is limited to text messaging and Facebook. And here's the thing. Don't let American women stereotype you for dating overseas. There's a whole bunch of sites out there of people who had their eyes open and have said, I'm done dating American women. I still want to put the bumper sticker on my truck, but knowing the freedom that we don't always have in this country, I'm sure somebody would slash my tires and scratch my truck, but it would be fun to put it out there. <laughs> I'll try to provide that link in the video so that you guys can read it yourself. But yes, American women will and do stereotype men for dating outside the white race. And the comments are commonly the same. Must be a loser, can't get anybody else. He wants an Asian woman because they're submissive. I lived in Hong Kong and I'm here to tell you, most of the Asian women I met, they've got a backbone and they'll stand up when they need to. It's not about submissive and us being able to control them. That's not it at all. It's that they are more loving and more sweet on men than American women tend to be. American women also are just loaded with baggage. Caught up in materialism, caught up in getting into debt, got to have an SUV, got to buy $5 coffee, and they worship their dogs. Who wants a relationship with that? Viewers, I'm here to tell you, we've talked about this numerous times. And you all see it. I've even been counseling some of my good American female friends that have had a hard time getting a decent male. I said, why don't you consider dating some Filipinos on some men overseas? You'll find there's a difference there too. But people tend to be stuck in their boxes. And those of us that have lived overseas and have traveled abroad, our eyes get open about our own culture and we can't go back. I would rather be alone 
they didn't get involved with the headaches associated with what I've seen every day. But yeah, the, the, the woman on the comment on that site really angered me. She automatically generalized the man for saying, where is there a place I can go to meet Asian women? I find it interesting that American women on most dating sites, their preferences are for men that are financially secure, make big money, drive the right car, and wear the certain clothes. My question back to them would be as follows. What is it you're really after? Are you after love? Or are you after their wallet? Why is it not considered creepy to turn around and say to a white female, that's creepy, you're only after a man for his income? I think that we all know what the word is for that. It's hypocrisy. Anyways, wanted to share my thoughts on that. And I think that as time goes on, little by little, some of us are waking up to the American difference and the Asian difference. And we do have to be careful. The online dating scam has gone on and on. Getting involved with Russian and Ukraine women, I have seen men have broken hearts over and over. Stunning looking white women. Some of the Russian women are some of the finest looking in the world, but I'll tell you what. I've heard story after story that they get to the United States of America and they clean the guy out. Be very careful. There are Asians that use men to get a visa. We know that. You have to use discernment. You have to take time to get to know this right here. This morning I've decided to visit a different church this morning. It starts at 8 o'clock a.m. It is a free Methodist. And... Uh, I don't know enough about the historical background as to why it's called free, but they're not part of the United Methodist Church. They happen to have an 8 o'clock service, which appeals to me because I wake up so dad blasted early. I wrote a couple notes here. I wanted to say something to my viewers. I do not believe that somebody is a pervert for seeking somebody younger or older than them. I think that's between the couple involved and it is their business. I do not believe in Bob Jones University stance years ago that a man and a woman should only date within their race. I totally disagree with that. And any Christian university that tells people that they should not be allowed to date outside their race, they can't base that on this at all because it's not in here. If they're going to go back to Old Testament law where they told the Israelis not to marry outside their Jewishness, well, we're not under that anymore. There's a reason some of us choose other ethnicity, and one of the things I like, as I told you over and over, is that the image that is put forth before the American male in American society is the Cosmopolitan, the L, the Us, the People magazine, the Ding Dong bimbos that are on the, the View on ABC every day. Some of us are tired of all that. We're tired of the Bondo lipstick, plasticated, breast implant, flaky females that spend too much on boring, dowdy clothing and worship their dogs. Who wants to be married to that? So we choose an exotic beauty with long, silky black hair, small breasts, brown skin, no makeup, and they smile at us every day. I think the choice and the reason we make that decision, it's easy and it's obvious. Love has no boundaries. Love has no boundaries at all. Love meaning that you can't... It's like I was talking to somebody the other day. In Christianity, there's a prohibition in the Bible about dating somebody who is not in the faith. But yet, you cannot stop love. You can fall in love with somebody even if they have varying or differing viewpoints in yourself. But we must be careful there. But yes, American women make stereotypes all the time against us males. And I'm going to say this again and close with this because I have to go. When we look at women that are highly good looking in the U.S., they don't struggle with the same things average men like me do. They don't have that issue. They don't have that struggle at all, and they've taken it for granted that they were blessed with looks that most men prefer. That being said, it's very easy for them to look in on us and say there must be something wrong with us. No, lady, that's not the case. We live in a vain society where women, because of their looks, know they can be ultra picky. 
And it's gotten down to the point now where women are less looking for love and more looking for financial security. And I say that that alone is creepy and cause for concern. Women have a right to have a preference. Women have a right to look at American women and say, we're kind of done with you. But they are faulting us and crucifying us for that. I don't know if you can see the lake out of here, if that shows up. This is where I usually go walking. But uh, I just wanted to do that video subject on this matter because it was too fresh in my mind to let it go. <clears throat> Anyways, I think we're going to head on down the road. One day I come out to my truck, I was on the phone, and I made a comment, and I shouldn't have done it, but I was talking on the phone with one of my friends overseas, and I said, I said, American women are like that, and I can't remember what I said, but a woman that was walking out here, the stereotypical dress dowdy with her dog and her husband, she turns, gives me a dirty look, looks at him and goes, tch, 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 as if I don't know you're not talking about me, and I thought, yep. When I say they can't handle truth, it's dead on. So I wanted to comment on that site, viewers, because when people make a stereotype like that, that is something that we need to stand up and say wrong. We are not creepy for dating another ethnicity. We are just tired. Just like American women want the right to choice, but they don't allow it for us. We have a choice now, ladies, and guess what? We know it's angering you, but that's too bad. The internet has opened up possibilities for us, and yes, there can be heartbreak and danger out there too, but some of us men now have the freedom to make choices, and I consider that a blessing. When you are endowed with good looks, you never have to worry about finding a date or solving that problem. When you are like myself or like many of the male viewers I have on YouTube that can't get a date because girls don't find them to be hunks or attractive, what are we supposed to do? Society has defined what beauty is, and they're not doing it by God's word. I remember in the 70s, it was very common for people like me and others to just get a date with attractive females. That's not the case today. Things have changed. Beauty has been so pushed in the media and in the westernized cultures that we live in, and yes, even around the world, that those women now know they can be picky and grab whatever they want. And they're not going to choose me. Why would they? I can't provide them a lucrative income, and they would be ashamed to have me at their side because they're not interested in a relationship. They're interested in being able to support their materialistic and vain financial lifestyle. The church that I go down to, I'm passing it, that I have been going to, I see women and men that a little bit self-righteous, they've never had adultery, they've never had affairs, and I look at their marriages and they're utterly devoid of life. They've been faithful to each other, but they're filling their houses with stuff. They're boring to listen to, and I just don't see the, the love or anything in their life. Just don't see it. What am I saying there? Am I saying they're sinning because of that? No. But a lot of Christians are good at following rules but they have no heart in it. They're going through the motions, and that's a scary thing. I don't want to go through the motions. For me, it has to be going through the heart, or else no deal. So I thank you guys for the thumbs up on the other video yesterday. I won't do this all the time, especially today it's Sunday, so there's less traffic. I'm certainly not going to attempt this at rush hour, but Yes, I think that I need to get some sort of a recording device that picks up audio good and video good where I can plug it in the cigarette lighter on my bus and mount it on the dash or do it in the truck because I really want to start doing videos showcasing Colorado idiot and rude drivers. That is
is unbelievable. Okay, right now, I'm going 40 years old, and this trap is speeding right past me. No conviction at all. And this is what I see every day. The speed limit's 40, and they will all pass me. Chevy pickup, four-door, they are some of the worst offenders. And what's funny, is the light down here is red. So he will beat me to the red light. Nope, it's green, so he's going to catch it. But yes, I want to show living life videos. I think it would be fun. The school bus gets dicey because I will only be able to show video when I do not have students on. Cannot show students. That gets into all kinds of legalities. So, but I could run it when I'm driving between locations, like from a school to another school to pick up a field trip, stuff like that. Two guys running against a red light. Okay. Sorry about the video quality. When we hit bumps and stuff, it affects the sound and the screen shakes. That's another reason we're going to have to find a way to make this a little more seamless. They got construction in here, so this is all jacked up. The other day I was driving the school bus. The left lane ended. It was a merger onto the freeway, but you merge over to the right before getting onto the freeway. I had a busload of people. The guy hauled out at about 80 behind me, cut around me. The lane had ended. He was driving and literally on the shoulder, and he literally cut around me in a service utility pickup with the name of the business. There was a teacher sitting right behind me who said, Oh my gosh, what a jerk. He wrote down the license plate. And he says, I'm calling that in. He was angry. I said, I get this every day. He says, what did he do that for? I said, I have no idea. People in Colorado and much of the U.S. don't care. They don't have any fear anymore. And that's why I get very mad at American women and their silly little ridiculous statements. I'll tell you what's creepy, viewers. A lot of American women are creepy. They have no substance, they have no heart, they have no passion, and then they got the gall to judge us men that they themselves would never go out with because we're not the caliber they're looking for, and then they judge us for looking somewhere else. I say to the women that have that mentality, mind your own business and leave us alone. It really is none of your business who we date or who our preferences are. Why would it matter to you? You didn't choose us, nor were you going to. And when people don't have a choice, if they feel that they're excluded, they're going to find a place where they're included. Simple as that. Simple as that. You know what? I love YouTube. I love this channel because it gives me a chance to voice, and it gives me a chance. Look at this guy. Here's an SUV flying. Look at that. Just flying down the road. See, and we need to get this. This is the kind of stuff we deal with. I don't know if I got that on there. But yep, in a blue blazes hurry, it's past everybody. And it would be fun with a video camera because then I can point it right at them and watch their reaction. It would be entertaining to do that. So he's going about 60 in a 40 zone. And he's flying. I mean, he's going faster than that. Sunday morning, I mean, what's the hurry? What is so important that we got to break the speed limit? All right. So now i got to figure out where the street is for this place. There's the name of the church right there. This one is called Light and Life Church. It used to be called Light Life Fellowship. And it's your traditional old Methodist style church with the big A-frame type roof and ceiling. Boy, 
and I can tell that I'm dead dog early. So you know what? We're gonna go cruise around. This doesn't start till eight o'clock, but I like the eight o'clock service. That, that I like. For people like me that get up early, I think that that's fun. Just go drive through the neighborhood here and continue to talk. You know what I miss doing, viewers? I miss cruising. I love to just go driving. But with gas being at three, what did I pay yesterday? Three fifty-four a gallon. It's not easy anymore. You're literally throwing money away just taking a drive. There's an old '50s Dodge in perfect shape. Just needs a paint job. Nice little brick houses in here. Yep, American women and their stereotypes. How come they don't want to leave well enough alone? They got their little life. Why do they got to comment on the rest of us? I remember this last winter, I was driving, or I had taken my Filipina friend to Colorado Mills, and she's short. She's about four foot nine. And a white woman who was tall with her husband, we were going to Starbucks because she wanted to go to Starbucks. White woman looks doesn't notice that I see her and is pointing the shoes and laughing and pointing and the only reason I didn't say anything is there was too many people right close to us and I thought yep and they'll all give me the dirty look and I was gonna say do you have a problem ma'am white women are mean they're just mean they're, they're not nice and I see this over and over and over and I of course have to throw out the disclaimer not all women are like this but boy it sure seems like most are. Most. Yep, life is interesting. Truth is stranger than fiction. Is that a street? Nope, that's a driveway. Let's go this way. You know, it's funny, another trend I've noticed out here in Colorado is that people will not show up early to things at all. Will not. They will show up five minutes late. And even a church, I find it interesting. And, and I'm going to say something bold. I figure if you're going to be late to church, would you be late to work? And sometimes people out here have the mentality, well, God doesn't really care. I just, I think that's interesting thinking. I don't agree with it, but hey, what the heck. Well, it looks like they're leveling something over here. Gonna build some more stuff. So I decided to go to this church today. The Potter's House starts at 10 o'clock. To their credit, they're having a memorial service for last, what was it, two years ago? The Aurora Movie Theater shooting at the Batman showing in the middle of the night. That was tragic, but they're planting, what is it, 13 trees as a memorial, trying to do an outreach to the community, and I do endorse that. I just felt that the church was too much showtime, so after two services, I kind of got burnt out, and I realized, you know what, I don't think I can keep doing this. But it was entertaining, and it was worth seeing. So we're on a journey right now to find something in America, something that... I connect with. I haven't found it in Colorado, but we're still looking. Colorado's a different kind of a place. It's more on the superficial and light. And one of the things that I've constantly struggled with is meeting people that are more like myself here. And that's why YouTube works, because I've connected with people on the phone and through emails and through my channel that actually give me a sense of community yesterday I was thinking of that Van Halen song Panama I was like yeah there you go
Viewers, when I throw stuff out there, I'm not going to jump ship and move to some other country. Not without a lot of research, not without open doors. And I'm not going to just go and hope to find an opportunity. I've lived long enough and I've learned that you need to go to a place where you know you can and do have a job. Some people can crash land in a place and make it by faith, and I've done that. But there's also a danger that you can get there and find that you get nothing and run out of all your funds. So you have to be careful. So anyways, I'm going to pull into the church so I can shut this video off and sit here for a while. 7.17, it doesn't start till 8 o'clock. So I might just park the truck and take a little walk through the neighborhood. Boy, I remember going to this church a long time ago, but they have a different pastor. And as in Colorado, you can go to a church and not even run into the same people again. I think we're just going to go like this. So viewers, here we are, and this is where we're at. I don't know if you can see this, but that's your typical, traditional church building. American women make stereotypes, and Pacific doesn't like it. So I just wanted to comment on that. This is Pacific signing off. Happy Sunday, everybody. Bye-bye.